Now I will tell you that how can you start a follow up with your lead from your seller lead app. So for follow up there are basically three apps which are in use. One is the follow up message, second is the follow up template and third one is the lead follow up. These two apps are of main concern of yourself and this is basically for the automation purpose. Uh, there is no need of opening this app to yourself. You have only work in these two apps follow up message and follow up template and this is for the backend purposes. So if I open follow up template, so follow up template is the app where you can define your template of the SMS and email that you want to send to your lead at the specific intervals after the like uh, if the you can type your SMS here and email here you can give the interval days and follow up messages uh, where you will uh, define your messages either this message may be SMS or email or voicemail and you will select this follow up message inside the follow up template that the specific interval so I give you the demo so for example I move to the follow up template app so I am inside the follow up template app and you can add your own follow up template I have designed one of the template for demo purpose you repeat this follow up you will select one time here and actually your work will be started from here here in this your app follow up templates have total 10 actions are defined so first of all uh, uh, here you need to select the action one it may be sms email whatever you want to send and you need to select the action one in next race so it means that this is a zero day so it means that your first message will be sent at the same day you will start the follow up with your lead action two is the five days so second message will be sent after the five days after the start of the follow up with your lead and this is the action two you can select add or remove any action if you want to remove it and you want to select some other you can select that follow up message and these are basically linked with the follow up message app that i have shown you previously i can click and i move to that follow up messages app Here I can give the title of the follow up message and so that I can select it inside the follow up templates app easily. I will select the type either it may be SMS, email or voicemail and these are the placeholders which will be replaced with the actual values of that lead with which you will start the follow up. If you want to send the SMS you need to select that type SMS here and you need to type the message body. You can use these placeholders in this uh, at the place where you want to remove the name and address with the actual lead name and address. And if you want to send email, you need to select the email here. You need to type the subject of the email and then you need to type the message body. I again select SMS here. And if you want to send voicemail, you need to select voicemail here and you can Slide broad mark, you can select slide broadcast message ID at that place. So this is the follow up message app. Uh, let me open follow up message app in separate tab. So you can define as many as uh, uh, a lot of follow up messages as you want uh, that you will select inside the follow up templates app for your leads. You can define any number of follow up messages here. You can add a new follow up message by clicking here. You can enter the title of the message, message title. Like you need to enter some meaningful name here so that it will be helpful for you to select that message inside the follow up templates app. So let me select uh, like uh, uh, first day. SMS and we got this is the SMS message I will select SMS here I will type the message body and then I will save that message now if I move to the follow-up templates app you will see that this SMS that I have created yet a, a little bit time ago this 
will also be available inside the follow-up templates app. So here this is the action 1, action 2, action 3. All of these are selected. Action 4 is not selected. If I click on action 4 and it will display me all the messages that we have defined inside the follow-up message. So for example, I want to send the uh, SMS at the action 4. I will select uh, that follow message that I have designed. And I will add the lag this action 1 in 4 days. So let's suppose I enter 8 here. So it means that this message will be sent. After the 8 days, this message has been sent. So for example, your first message will be sent at the same day at which you will start the follow up. So for example, today date is 10 8th of October. So first message and that message will be SMS. This message will be sent to your lead at the 8th of October. Second message will be sent to the 8 plus 5 and 13 of October. Third message will be sent to 15 of October and fourth message will be sent to 23rd of October. So in this way you can define your messages and actions up to 10. So here is the stop on or follow up response is yes. So it means that you are sending SMS and emails to your leads and you have started follow up with your lead. And once your lead get these messages and response you, this follow up will automatically be stopped because you have got the response from your lead. So after you have designed your defined your follow up message as well as follow up template, you will go to your seller leads app. Let me open seller leads app. So here I open any of the lead like uh, let me open the first lead. After the lead has been opened, you will move to the follow up section by clicking on this navigation. In this section, in this follow up section, it will ask you to choose the follow up template that you have designed inside the follow up templates app. After selecting this template, you will click on just put on auto follow up and it will automatically attach the lead follow up uh, item here you can click on this item and you can check the dates that either these dates have been calculated correctly according to the lag test that you have selected here you can verify here so let me select some of the follow-up template i think there is only one follow-up template you will select it you will click on this yes put on auto follow-up Once I clicked on this yes put on auto follow up button, uh, some mistake I clicked on for two times on this yes put on auto follow up, but no problem with this. It uh, prints the message that system is going to initiate auto follow up with the follow up sequence. You will see that message and then it will start the follow up which will lead follow up started successfully at 2020, 8th, 10th. So here you will see that a lead follow up has been attached if I open it you just this you can verify from this lead the dates that either these dates have been successfully calculated or not so this is the running status of your follow-up and this is the due date of action one eighth second is the 13th due date of action two third one is the 15th of october and the fourth one is i think 23rd so these dates have been calculated correctly as these should be calculated. Now if you want to stop the auto follow with your lead you simply need to click on this stop auto follow up button and also it will automatically stop the follow up whenever you will receive any SMS any first SMS or email from your lead it will stop the follow up with your lead. So this was all about how can you send SMS, receive SMS, send email, voicemail, and how can you start a follow up with your lead. Maybe this video is helpful for you. So thanks for watching this video.